Okay, Coach McDonough, uh, good technique session. Uh, I liked everything I saw on the mat. Right, Being mean. Being mean. That's, that's the most important thing. That's, I, don't, I mean, that's not the most important, but it is a very, very, very big factor is that you can overcome a lot of technique with is just attitude and your mentality, especially on the mat, more than on the feet. On the mat, I was talking to this group and they were, we were working bottom and mat wrestling is more an attitude than anything else. You can show all the techniques, but ultimately you're either trying to hold someone down or you're trying to get out when someone's trying to hold you down. Your attitude will dictate a lot of the success you have. Okay, so iron sharpens iron. This is a pretty good system. I like this. I Great like an system. hour of technique, then I like an hour of duels. Yep. Michigan does a similar thing with their camp system. Yep. I don't know what Iowa and the Badgers do, but I think that's a great way to kind of mix it in there yep. and you get yep. a lot of activity out of the kids that get to retain some technique. And as you know, if you learn one thing from a camp, you, you've won at that camp, right? That's, I tell that to almost every camp I do is I'm going to teach four, five, seven, eight, ten things. If you can take one thing away, not just I remember it, but I take it away and I actually start utilizing it in my wrestling, of the whole camp even, you learn 20 things. If you can take something away that you utilize in your wrestling from that point forever on, I think it's a successful camp. Because you get so much data thrown at you, it, it takes a very special individual to take all that, I'm not, I'm not one of them, to take all that data and remember every piece of it. But if you see some things and light bulbs go off, win. And that's what, that's what we try to do. That's what we're trying to do going and teaching wrestling camps is build a sport of wrestling up and get kids excited and get them to gain knowledge and get them better for the future so that we can continue to expand this sport and bring in new people because the excitement, the entertainment value is going up and up because they're, they're learning more high level moves. They're learning new ways to, to win and to, to compete hard. Um, and, and then also, like I was talking at the end, giving them the mentality, trying to instill in them the mentality because it, you're gonna hear it from your coaches, but it's always great to hear it from another coach who maybe, you know, it is, you're gonna believe them because they've had success, they've done well. You hear it from them and you're, oh, my coach is saying the same thing as them. So now they really, it really starts to resonate because they're hearing it from multiple people who are, have no relation. So they, it, it motivates them, it gets them fired up for the future and, and for you know, the way they want to wrestle. Badger wrestling, this is you know, obviously you going out and doing, doing the people's work, right? I like that you're super personal with people who want to come get pictures with you, signing autographs, right? But you did that as a Hawkeye, now you're a Badger. Yep. How crazy has that transition been for you from you know, Hawkeye, Hawkeye Wrestling Club, to being a Badger now? And you're all Badger, man. I would really like that about you. Like, Pushing the brand, you know, and Bono, he's, he's huge on it. Him and Reader, you guys hustle so hard. They've, they've given me a lot of knowledge of how to do that, how to reach out and um, push the brand and build your platform at your school. Because you know, I'm in a school that has had decades of history and the brand's already built. You just wear black and gold and everyone knows. Well, it's a whole new learning curve going to somewhere where Wisconsin is known, but we want it, it to be like a household thing. Like, man, Wisconsin wrestling. They, they got some stuff going on there. And Bono and Reader are they're top of the game at that, at building the brand, at getting ourselves out there, at getting people excited about Wisconsin wrestling and making it a show, making it entertaining. And that's what we're trying to do with our duels, make it entertaining. That's what we're trying to teach our wrestlers is – Win, lose, or draw, you are going out there for seven minutes or more, and you are putting on a show for the fans. You are doing seven minutes of hustle, effort, attitude, as hard as you can, so that those fans go home and they're excited about what they saw and they want to come back and see more of it. Um, as far as transition to Wisconsin, absolutely, it's a change. You know, I was never anything but a Hawkeye my whole life. So that took some time, but you don't let it. That's one great thing I learned from my mentors growing up um, through high school and college is when you jump into something, you, you jump in, you know, head first as hard as you can. And I've tried, you know, and I've, I've, nobody's perfect, but I've done everything I could to, uh, to try to jump in to Wisconsin and, and make, this a, make this a household name right out of the gate. And that's what I love about Bono and Reader is, you know, it's not like, oh, hey, we'll get there, we'll get there. It's like, uh, we're going to get there right now. And the hustle is, is part of it. Huge hustle. I love it. Life change. You, did, 
was your daughter born in Iowa? My daughter and my son. My so my well, son you got, was. You got two. I have two. My son was Reader's born in two. Iowa. Yep. He has a daughter that's a little older than my daughter, and a son that's a little younger than my son. Okay. So we're we're very we have very similar uh, very similar family situations. Um, but my son was born uh, March eighth of two thousand eighteen. And I took the position, I want to say, right around April 8th of 2018. Wow. So my son was a month old when I took the position. And um, when I went and actually visited Wisconsin, my wife and my son came with me. And so he was a one-month-old like, infant. Yeah. He was a one-month-old infant on the, oh on the recruiting trip, so to speak, for the job. And that was kind of fun. You're not near him around. family, though. No, you're, you're away from family, right? You're, you're away from your your family's not from Wisconsin. They're from Iowa. Yes, right? yes. My so family, what's that my been wife's like family. Being hours. How many hours is it? It's only three three and a half hours okay. from each of our families. So it's not bad at all. But um, you know, I'm super thankful for it because it's it's helped me grow as a person. It's very it's it's a it's a huge luxury and advantage to have your family close. Um, but there's millions of people who go, move away from their family and, and make it work. Um, so I think it's helped myself and my wife and my family grow um, and it's been it's been great in three hours I mean there's you could be a lot further away that's still a car ride you can still drive there for a weekend if you need to get away really bad um, and, I, and I and I have driven home for the weekend to see family um, but it's been great to be where I can't call them and say hey can you come babysit tonight you know things like that because you have to grow you have you have to develop as a person and um, it was, I was kind of lucky in that I got to take a baby step where I'm only three hours away instead of going to California or New York or one of the coasts. But having done it now and being away, you know, it makes it more um, reasonable to think, oh, if there's, if there's a job or something or an opportunity far away, I could do it. Um, having, having taken that first step. And, and I think that's, that's huge to, to personal growth. The gift and the curse. You and I have given the gift and the curse. I've given it to my son. You've given it to your daughter, apparently. We have these loud, booming, carrying voices. Oh, yeah. What is that like? I heard my kid the other day. Listen, my uncle, I arrived in the Caribbean off an airplane. I got off the airplane, like a single-engine airplane, and I, I just got out into the thing and started talking. He's like, oh, my God. You're so loud. Just stop talking. Literally, that's how my vacation started uh, one year. I've What's heard it like, that. Though? I've heard that a few times, and... Uh... You know, when I was younger and less mature, I'd get all frustrated that, ah, why am I so loud? And now I'm just like, hey man, I'm loud and obnoxious sometimes and I'll try to not do that all the time. But hey, when I get excited, sometimes you just, you get excited. And it's carried over to my daughter and I love it. And I tell you what, I'm, I'm creating a beast because I always wanted to play and wrestle with her when she was really young. And now she's up just about three and I come home most days and yeah, let's wrestle. She wants to come attack me, and I throw her around, and then she gets up, and let's go again. So I'm thankful that women's wrestling is growing because she's definitely going to probably do something in the sport, whether it lasts for a couple years or she's wrestling for her lifetime. She she loves to wrestle, so it's it's pretty fun. It's a you know, being a parent. There's nothing better in the world than, than being a parent. There really isn't. Okay, so I might be biased. My wife's from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Most would say that's the best college time in America. Obviously, you're Columbus. People think Columbus is okay. You came from a great college town, Iowa City. I came from but, Iowa City. But I think, I think you're in the best place there is for a college town, Madison, I, Wisconsin. Iowa City is always going to have a special place in my heart. I, I've, I'm born in eastern Iowa, grew up there. All my roots are, are at Iowa. Um, but having gone to Madison, I tell that to a lot of people. It's like Iowa City on steroids. It's very similar town, but there is just, there's so much to do. It is a great place. If you are a college kid and you go to Madison, you will realize why people talk about it. It's amazing. You're, you're, on, a, you're on two lakes. The nightlife there is great. And I don't mean the party drinking. I just mean the nightlife, the, the social life, the things to do. Um, there's, there's bike paths everywhere. There's, there's little, uh, there's two lakes. You're in between yeah, two lakes. That's what I like. There's forests right around town. You have a great example is, uh, there's a video, um, why Wisconsin. That's like a, it kind of, it's a recruiting video, so to speak. But Melvin Gordon, he went to Wisconsin. He's a pro running back. He talks about how you can get a small town feel in Madison and the college feel 
but then you can go downtown because it's the state capital and you can get the big city feel that's kind of fun in that regard too so you can get the best of both worlds right there um and it's just a it's a great place you know they they they, they hold the college in high regard they have high standards but they want to see people succeed and i mean you you have to try to to not succeed there you really do um, it's a great place with, with an amazing culture. Last thing, um, I listen to you talk, I listen to Brent Metcalf talk, I listen to Schwab talk. Do you know who you guys sound like very similar to? You've heard this before, I know you have. Probably some of our coaches. Tom and Terry, you guys sound a lot like Tom and Terry. I've you heard, heard that. You've heard that, right? For you, sure. I'll, I'll say this for you. Of the three I just listed, you sound the least. You sound the least like them. What's it been like? Obviously, they're a huge part of your development, your life, going through coming a boy to a man, but now you're the enemy. How quick is that flip switched and how different is your relationship with them now? It's got to be crazy, right? It's it's definitely not bad, you know, nothing like that. I, I think it's actually great, but it is, it is, it, it's, it's fun. It's interesting because yeah, now we are competitors, but a, a lot of, you know, a very large percentage of what I've learned over the past decade, just on numbers, you know, I've been over the last the last ten years of my life, nine of them were were there, and one of them's been at Wisconsin. So I've, of course, I've learned a ton from them, and they're they're amazing. You know, I give them. I, and when I left, it's so much credit for making me who I am, for helping instill the things in me they did. Um, and I think that's the ultimate goal: is everything I learned from them, um, continue to learn, but try to th those positive things, those great things, try to impart that in, into the people that I'm mentoring now. Try to carry that on because that's what it's about. And you know, when that whistle blows and I'm we're competing, that hey, it's do or die. It's try to bury the opponent. Um, but outside of the sport, I think that um, you know the goal is the same: build the sport of wrestling. And they're great people, and I, I love them. And um, everyone that's that's I've, I've come to know and uh, be around at Wisconsin are great. And that's what I that's what I love is being around people who are trying to build a sport, who are trying to improve things and who are driven because you know it motivates me. And, and that's you 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 always want to be self-motivated, but it's always great to surround yourself with people who are pushing you to be better. And that's that's you know what I try to do is be better every day. How does he compare to Bono, Reader, Funky Ben? How does he, how do those guys compare to them? They're all like these high level guys. Yeah, every, every, yeah everybody's different. They all have different um, ways of, of approaching things, but the ultimate goal is the same. You know, win and do it right. And that's why I went where I did. Is I, I felt that I was um, surrounding myself with people who we're on the same mindset of doing things right, you know, living the right lifestyle. That's what I've, I've grown up, even before I was at Iowa, I've grown up thinking about is, I can win however, but I wanna win right. I wanna try to live my life the best I can and um, try to get better every day and live a lifestyle of wrestling. You got anything else for me? I love talking to you, dude. You can talk all day. Hey, I. I I love this, this, this camp system, it, it's great. Um, we just started our team camps this year and you know, coming and doing things like this is helpful for, for me to learn to try to take back to Wisconsin too. And um, I'm, just, I'm just thankful I get these opportunities in the summer and I think that if there was anything I was gonna say, it's that I encourage kids to do some summer wrestling. You don't have to compete. Everyone thinks you have to try to go make a world team or do Fargo. You may not be at that level yet. Get yourself to a camp. Get yourself in open rooms at your local gym. Get Keep yourself involved. It's just like if you're a basketball player, what do you do in the off season? You go shoot hoops. Shoot hoops, right, yeah. Well, okay, I get it, wrestling's tough. You don't have to go do 47 matches and try to break your body down in the off season. But keep doing it, keep wrestling. Um, and that's that's what I want to instill in as many people as possible is, hey, let's make this something where it's a mainstream, everybody wants to go wrestle. Because I really think it's the greatest sport in the world. It teaches you the most about life. Wrestling, look it up in the dictionary, a struggle. You know, it teaches you about life. That's what life is, is a struggle. So, um, 
I'm just blessed to, blessed to be doing what I'm doing. One of those camps, and are they still? Can people still get up into, uh, into your camps? La they, we had them um, last week, so that that was our one week of camps. But we will have them next summer, and we're hoping to grow our team camp. Um, we'll have an intensive camp. We'll probably have a position camp and a, a youth camp, um, and hopefully we can get a bunch of people there next summer.